Hello everybody, and we are back with our next installment of this dynasty. We have Air Force here, as you can see, they pretty much own us in every category statistically. And we will have to watch out for this Alex Means, he's a pretty good uh, defensive player for Air Force, and this is a real special introduction here, the Falcon. <laughs> Look at that sky, oh my gosh. Do you believe that's even a video game? Good grief. All right. And here we have an upset. Kentucky over number three, LSU. And Florida Atlantic over number eight, Georgia. So two top ten teams go down at the same time. So here we go. Air Force starts out on offense. And they're in front of the home crowd here looking to make some noise. And second and seven, Mr. Dietz is going to read this play a little off. Just a little bit. That's Bailey Carr, the safety, who kind of disguised his coverage. And he came over the top there. And now RJ McGill, beautiful mid-screen that we run there. A little middle screen that very successful. And Hendrickson, don't know what that was. That was a terrible throw. But I hear we're kicking into a 15-mile-per-hour wind. The wind would be a pretty big factor in this game. And uh, we have to deal with it early on. And here, Cobb is going to take this for a big gain, and this is something we've had a problem with in each of our first three games now, with running backs killing us on big gains. And Cobb on a little screen there to get the first down. He's going to get the handoff again, but this time we would stop him, and Ross Brenneman is going to recover the fumble. What a recovery. And uh, look at this, Brenneman with just great instincts there to run over and grab the ball. But uh, it would be reviewed and the play would be overturned because he is actually down before he fumbles it. Here we look at the replay and yes, his knee is clearly down. The ball comes out way after so they would still have the ball and Cobb going to make up for that fumble. Even though it really wasn't a fumble. But still, third and eight now. It's back to pass and he is just making all kinds of mistakes we get the interception second of the game and it's only the first quarter and uh, Air Force more of an option offense they don't throw the ball a lot and when they do it can be a little disastrous but we would be third and 14 and Hendrickson not able to find the open man so we would squander another interception away and here Cobb is just gonna fly down and inside the 15 unbelievable our rush defense has been really poor this season uh, we lack a lot of speed on the back end though that's part of the problem and Dietz is going to take off sliding before he gets hit though and so with a 15 mile an hour wind at their back not that it matters from like 25 yards out there but uh it's a tie ball game here late in the third or first quarter <laughs> And Jake Miller making a hard-nosed run for six yards. Nicely done. I like those kind of runs. Nicely done. And Hendrickson, third and four, back to pass, drops way back, and the defender just sticks his arm out. No effort given there. He just had to reach out and block the ball. So, second and four on their next drive, and what a hurdle by Cobb to get the first down. Unbelievable. Third and 12 now, Air Force got to gotta go to the air again. Deeds looking, looking, and it's almost picked off again. He's just not having a good day passing the ball, so they would punt it away. Our defense holds nicely and do a little draw action out of the eye formation. Miller gets nine yards, so third and one. Now we run in a big ace set, and Jake Miller will fight very hard for that first down yardage. Beautifully done. Now Hendrickson back to pass. Seth Wist off the tight end. What a catch. What a little run there. He had to get the extra yardage. Now third and four. Mitch Sutton. He's going to be. Looked like he was going to be stopped short of the first down. But he fights. Look at that effort. Unbelievable. Now here we go out of the strong set formation. Jake Miller a 10 yard run. And we are getting a lot of momentum on this drive now. But Hendrickson kills some of that momentum with the sack. And now third and 21. 
Henriksen back to pass, looking for RJ McGill. He makes the catch behind the defender's back, and it will be UND's first touchdown of the season. It took us two and a half games to get there. We're uh, in the second quarter of this one, so finally a touchdown, and the defender was completely baffled by that. What a throw, what a catch, what a touchdown to take the lead. What a drive. 10 plays, 85 yards. That is a drive of drives. So now Air Force trying to answer, but Ross Brenneman on the sack. And uh, Connor Dietz cannot get anything going on the passing game. Second and 13. He has all day to throw, and it's going to be intercepted for the third time. Three interceptions in the first half thrown by Connor Dietz, and the defense has stepped it up in this game for sure. But we're on third and nine right now looking, and Miller on a little screen action gets some great blocks and first down yardage to set us up nicely. And we do have the wind to our back, so field goal is not out of the question. Here, Greg Harden over the middle. He's got it. He's going 10-5. Touchdown, Greg Harden. And we went from having no touchdowns in the first two games to now two touchdowns within several minutes of each other. And on the very next play, Air Force is going to run the ball and take it all the way. Something that I almost expected to happen because our rush defense is so bad. So they cut it to a touchdown game at halftime here. And uh, got to figure out how to stop that run game because that's what Air Force does well. They run the option. They run it, run it, run it. Um, and here we go now, third and six in the second half. Greg Harden with the first down yardage, nicely done. Now it's first down, Seth Nichols in motion to the left side, and Jake Miller's going to get it off. Beautifully done, another 10-yard gain for him. He's having quite a game as we've been able to run the ball with some success for once. Unbelievable. And Miller, another left side run there on second down. It's third and three. The defense was kind of given some mixed signals. We run a play action, and it's almost intercepted. So we would punt it away, a failed drive there. And they run a little misdirection there. Had Cobb going one way and gets runs the other way, and our defense gets burned here. He would be brought down at the one. So first and goal, very next play. They run a little flex bone. That's what they do. Cobb punches it in, and they would tie this one up at 17 apiece in the third quarter. So... Air Force making things interesting after UND had a two-touchdown lead. Miller has all kinds of room. Great blocking on the screenplay. They've been blitzing a lot, so we take advantage of that by running a little screenplay. And Hendrickson rolls out, throws, and he finds Seth Wisthoff. An unbelievable play. Look at this. Hendrickson rolling out on the run. Wisthoff adjusts and makes a great catch. What looked like a busted play. Fourth and two, we have the wind in our face, so field goal, not really an option, and it's too short to punt, so we go for it, and we do get the first down. And then Greg Harden makes the catch for eight yards. Moving the ball, and now RJ McGill on the end around. Jet sweep, not happening. So we settled for a field goal. It's 2017, now in the fourth quarter. Deets a little option here, and here he goes. He's going to make a little move and he does actually get injured and uh, he would in fact be out for the remainder of the fourth quarter which would be basically the game so big gain there though all they need is Cobb they don't really <laughs> they have gets they have Cobb they don't really need their quarterback who threw three interceptions by the way so now they're running a little more conservatively here third and three Looking to get a little first down. Graves gets it. He pitches it out. Lacoste is going to be stuffed. The defense comes up big, and it is a tie game again as they settled for a field goal. And so now three minutes to go in this game. Tied at 20. Jake Miller on the draw play. First down. Here we go. Looking. We've got to get into their territory. We have the win to our back, so we do have that advantage in the fourth quarter. Um, and that's exactly how I planned it. And we would be stopped 4th and 7 now. So we'll take a long field goal for Zeb Miller. This is a long one. 
and he drills it with the wind to his back. So 23-20, a 45-yard field goal by Zed Miller, which without the wind's help, he probably couldn't make otherwise. So good for him. But there is a minute and 13 seconds left now. Air Force has enough time. They have two timeouts to try and at least tie this game, though they do have the wind in their face. 42 seconds, third and two. Obviously, no matter what, it's four down territory for them. And he's going to find her niece. Weird name, but he makes the catch regardless. And third and five. Gray's looking back to pass. He's going to find her niece again. Clutch player. Nine seconds ago. Now six seconds. They took a timeout. We froze the kicker. <coughs> or iced the kicker, I guess. And it does go through as it was a pretty short field goal. And we're going to overtime. That's right, overtime. 23-23. Air Force gets the ball to start. We won the coin toss and chose defense first. And they would get an 8-yard gain by Cobb on that play here. So Graves tosses it out. Cobb going to be stuffed for a 3-yard loss. Defense has come up big on a lot of plays in this game. And Cobb making some shifty moves. Gets the first down, and now they're looking to score. It gets, he is going to go 12 yards for the score. 30-23, puts the pressure on the offense of UND now to get this one. And Greg Harden running a corner route. What a catch. And let's get a look at that again. I thought this one would be reviewed, but it actually was not because he did have two feet inbounds. It would have been good in the NFL. So look at that catch. Excuse my horrible camera work. It's pretty bad, but uh, there we go. Mitch Sutton on second and goal gets the touchdown. And uh, we're going to a second overtime, so now we flip. UND has the ball to start the second overtime. And Miller would go for only a yard, not anything doing well there. And here we go. Looking second and nine, and incomplete. So third and nine here, second overtime. UND looking to get... A touchdown here. He had Southwest off, but there was good coverage there. So with the win to our backs, we do take the field goal, and it does go through. So 33-30, Air Force has to at least get a field goal. If they score a touchdown, it's over. So our defense has to hold here. And Deets wants to go right away. He's back in the game, by the way. He was out for the rest of the fourth quarter in the first overtime, but he is back now. And he's going to take a nice little jog here for six yards, third and four. Deets running the option. He's going to pitch it to Getz, who is pushed out of bounds. And it's fourth and five for Air Force. Wind in their face, remember. But uh, this one is going to go through. And if he pushed it any more left, it probably would have missed. So third overtime, 33-33. This is quite a game. Unbelievable. And uh, Deets back to pass, and now what a hit. What a hit to knock the ball loose. And they run the option here. We'll lose a yard. Defense is seem to finding its groove a little bit here. And he's back to pass. He has all day. He has all day to throw. And look at this coverage out of nowhere. Out of nowhere making the swat. So we would hold them to a field goal, 36-33, third overtime. If we score a touchdown, we win this game. And Hendrickson back to pass on first down, overthrows it, whist off the intended target. So Miller gets the handoff here on second down, six yards, well done there. Set up a nice little third and four situation. Originally going to go with the halfback screen, but didn't really like what the defense was showing. So we'll audible out of that and run a little bit of a different play here on third down. Hendrickson back to pass. Ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage, and Pollard is going to intercept it. That is going to seal the deal. Air Force wins it 36-33 in triple overtime. Here's a look at that interception. It was tipped by defensive end at the line of scrimmage. Kind of messed the whole play up there. and Well, there you go. Hendrickson had a good day despite that interception. 228 yards, two touchdowns. Miller had 89 yards on 20 carries. 
So offense actually had a pretty decent day for once. Wistoff and Harden leading the team in receptions. McGill and Harden both accounted for the touchdowns. But uh, three interceptions by the defense was uh, another positive to take away from this game. Two sacks, three interceptions, not a bad day for the defense, even though gave up a lot of rushing yards and 36 points. So aside from that, <laughs> not a bad day. Miller, four for four on field goals. Good day for him. Uh, he's not the best kicker, so, you know, it's, it's a good day for him. And there you can see Air Force does not throw the ball a lot and cop 260 yards Crazy day, just like every other halfback we faced. They've dominated us. Not a lot of receiving numbers, obviously, but... There you go, that was a crazy game. Three overtimes is the most I've ever had in a game of NCAA. I've had single overtime games, usually. But I I might have had one double overtime game at some point, I don't remember, but... Three overtimes is definitely the most. So it's pretty crazy. There you go. We had 320 yards of offense. Our best our best game offensively so far, and we scored a lot of points. So that's good, although it's kind of skewed by overtimes because the way college overtimes work is kind of stupid. I don't really understand why they changed the game. Why not just play another quarter for overtime? It's weird. Anyway, so there you go. Players of the Week and Heisman Watch. Landry Jones made a little jump on the jump up the list. Eric Reed fallen and who is this out of UNC? Halfback. He's a good halfback, actually. Giovanni Bernard, he is a really good halfback. Uh saw him in a few games, but uh anyway, I will see you guys all around next time where we play our first home game against Kansas.